happy Friday. Um, it's October 2nd. I hope you had a wonderful Thursday. And now it's Friday. So amazing, amazing that we got this far. I know I'm wearing the same clothes, but it's because I'm filming the same day. But to you, it is October 2nd. So um, I am going to explain to you what your assignment is for today. So today is basically um, make up your missing assignments day, okay? So if you have any missing assignments, I want you to take today to make them up, especially if you're missing um, essays, okay? If you're missing an essay, it's very important that you take today to finish it and turn it in. Those are big, big grades. And if you're missing like exit tickets or daily assignments, um, make sure you get those done as well. Now, if you are done with everything and you're not satisfied with your grade or you would still uh, like some extra credit, I do have an assignment for you today too. So, um, basically, the assignment is a little research project, okay? You are going to be researching one group of people that was highly impacted or affected by the Great Depression, and then you're gonna display your findings in your choice of a presentation. So the, th the five groups that I have that you can pick from are farmers, factory workers, black Americans, women, and the elderly. So you're gonna go online and research like how did the uh, Great Depression impact farmers? How did the Great Depression impact women? So you're gonna research that and then you're gonna put your research on a presentation of your choosing. If you wanna do a PowerPoint, do a PowerPoint. If you want to make a poster, make a poster. If you want to make an art drawing, make an art drawing. If you want to write an essay, write an essay. Now, there are going to be certain um, expectations for each thing. So if you're working on a PowerPoint, you have to make at least five slides. If you're making a poster, I want you to make sure that you write a description of what you are writing. So um, if your poster has a lot of things, make sure you write it down so that I can understand your poster. If you're making an art piece, make sure that you have a little paragraph description of what's going on, okay? And if you have an essay, make sure that it's three paragraphs long, okay? Now, you can turn in this extra credit assignment project by Sunday at 5 p.m., the latest to get credit, and you can submit it in a direct message to me or um, yeah, just in a direct message to me. Um, and then I'm just gonna say this in Spanish now. So, eh, van a usar este día para hacer cualquier trabajo que no han entregado, okay? Y quiero que se enfoquen principalmente en ensayos. Si no han terminado ensayos, terminenlos por favor. Esos son grados muy, um, muy grandes. Este, y si ya terminaron todo, les voy a dejar instrucciones para un trabajo de punto, puntos extra, ¿ok? Entonces, el trabajo que les voy a dar es una investigación sobre un grupo que fue muy afectado por la gran depresión, ¿ok? Los grupos que pueden escoger, van a escoger uno de cinco. Son agricultores, trabajadores de fábrica, los americanos negros, las mujeres o los ancianos, ¿ok? Entonces, ustedes van a ir al internet y van a buscar, ¿ok? ¿Cómo fueron afectados los agricultores durante la Gran Depresión? Y luego van a poner su información en una presentación de la cual ustedes van a escoger. Pueden escoger un PowerPoint, un poster o un dibujo de arte o un ensayo, ¿ok? Pueden usar lo que ustedes quieran para expresar y dar la información de su, um, de su investigación, ¿verdad? Pero cada cosa tiene sus requisitos. Para el PowerPoint tienen que tener por lo menos cinco slides. Para el poster tiene que tener una descripción de lo que está pasando, ¿ok? En el dibujo también quiero una descripción de por lo menos un párrafo y en el ensayo quiero por lo menos tres párrafos, ¿ok? Ustedes pueden escoger entre esos, esos cuatro y un grupo. Y pueden entregar su, su proyecto más tardar 
en domingo a las 5 p.m. Para, para recibir crédito, ¿ok? Y me lo van a enviar por mensaje directo, ¿ok? So, if you have any questions, let me know. I will be posting these instructions on my PowerPoint. But have a wonderful Friday and a wonderful weekend. I miss you and I look forward to seeing you guys again. Okay, bye everyone.